Hey, this is Alex from Alex's Technic Creations, or All About Alex. Um, Alex's Technic Creations is the part of my channel where I show you my Lego Technic mocks and other concepts. And today I'm going to be showing you um, how to build a RC chassis. Now, this is the most basic, and this is what you guys really need to learn. So, everyone is like, all right, step-by-step -step instructions. What people need to learn to build RC cars for themselves. So this is my process on how I build RC cars. Now, what I do, I start step one, motor block. So um, how do you connect the motors? You have the motors, you have the drive, and then you have the steering. You have the drive and the steering you want to connect those make it sure it's solid then you have the back section how do you want it to power the wheels where is your diff how are you connecting everything thirdly you've got the steering i would do all of this in chunks now what i started with was i started with two l motors and a servo Let's flip this over you can kind of see how i started i had i made a little structure out of some of these blocks blocks not really blocks but pieces um i connect them together and that's what i started with i then attach the servo motor as you can see here through this middle beam this middle beam then i was planning this all out and it connects to the drive motors up here slight speed um slight speed gearing sorry for the shaky camera slight speed gearing goes through this um, axle right here, goes, is transferred through here into the differential. And then you've got these pieces that make it so the wheels can't come off. Now, through all this, we have, now we have steering. The steering's quite simple. It's just two five by seven beams stacked on top of each other with the um, long steering rack, the 13 long steering rack. And that's all connected to the servo motor. So that's the RC chassis. That's the basics. Now, this is just what I was been toying with. Um, but now, it's really all about sol problem solving. Now, the, the issue I've been having with making a fully suspended vehicle is that I have the two pieces. I've got the two, I've got the steering module and I've got the drive module but i can't figure out the best way to connect them because the mounting points you just got to have a good structure and i'm still figuring out a good way to do that like here um is a prototype for a speed project i've been working on which didn't end up working because um the buzzwhiz couldn't pull the nine volts or couldn't go ludicrous, it just wasn't working, I'm not sure why, but, you know, this has the motors connected, and it has suspension. There, that's a pretty simple suspension, but when you have independent, it's a lot more complicated. Now, from here, what you can do is you can take some side pieces, add them like this, and you can start planning the body work. Now, I'm not great with body work, I'll admit. I've done some pretty cool stuff with it before, but I'm not an expert. But, I can say, just start planning. Like here, this is what I want to be the hood. I'm going to want that to go there. How do I attach it? How do I want the back to look? Where am I going to mount my battery? Which, right here, I'm going to use the buzzwiz for this. I set that there, let's say. How am I going to attach it? We have, what do I want to do with the roof? Like, I could do something like this for the roof, or I could use these. You know, that's a pretty cool roof, too. I'm trying to, like, kind of recreate my sedan-style car with a dip, bit different of a chassis. I'm trying to use less frames and stuff, but, you know, there's just a lot of options. So, basically, to go over it again, before I end the video, it's step one or really not step one, but 
you'll need these three pieces. You need your motor block. Connect the motors. You need um, you need your drive. You need your back wheel drive. Most RC cars will only have two wheel drive, rear axle drive, not front wheel. Um, here is your servo motor and your steering. How do you want the steering to work? How wide is it? What do you have a limiter on it? Then you can start on body work. Start with the bottom, work your way up. Like I start with this, then let's say I add some walls or something. How am I going to connect them? How am I going to, what am I going to do for the wheel arch? If I want to have something going across like that, or if I want to use, um, one of these pieces, you know, that would go down like this. How do I want everything to go? Um, a lot of Lego is pre-planning, and when you're building it, there's a lot of taking things apart. Now, you, when you pre-plan, you want to try to take as little apart as possible, because you will... <sighs> Excuse me. You're going to be putting things together, then go on to how do I want to attach this to this, and then you will need to, then you'll need to maybe take something apart and change out a pin or two so you have the mounting point you need. Just all of this stuff. So that is my two cents on how you can build a RC car. Um, the drive, pretty simple. When I started out, I only did um, all-wheel drive cars with no steering. I just had a motor in the front and a motor in the back, two solid axles, and it would drive. And then I would play with gearing and different designs for that. That's how I started. That's how you should probably start, because I didn't have a servo or remote control. Now I do. But, and steering. It's not that complicated. Don't worry about it. it you really just need to make sure everything's lined up properly. Make sure the gear is exactly straight up and down so it it lines up. But other than that, Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. Um, I mean, I don't make amazing content, but I think for myself being a 15-year-old, not bad. So, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos if you want. I made a backpack carrier that I brought to school. I'm still kind of getting popularity off of that, but, you know. Um, I make some pretty cool stuff, so check it out. Alright, bye.